Okay, as I was saying to Sean, I've, I haven't actually got a sore throat. It's sort of, wouldn't call it, you know, like that, sort of rasping, the sore thing, but you know, it's uncomfortable. I've got a slight like, swollen neck. So I see my fighting off, and every time I swallow, it feels like something's going up my tubes around my neck somewhere. Probably chunky bits of phlegm or something. I'm fighting off something. Uh, oh, yeah, 11, that's 11 Hilkia Jubia on this track here. Well, there you go. There's your bonus for today. I forgot that group here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you've probably seen this track in uh, previous seasons, but I've never actually filmed it on night scene before. So now you get the, uh, oh, the sun's going in again, so hopefully if the sun comes out, you get true to life colour. But uh, as I said, you know, like, like last time we had around the GFC, things got a bit funny in the neighbourhood. And it's almost been like two weeks, you know, two weeks tomorrow since the election, and uh, yeah. Uh, I feel a bit uncomfortable on things, I don't know, if it's going to go like it did, uh, you know, post-GFC things, you know, the police guys just cruising around the neighbourhood, you know, doing double loops in the shopping centre and things like that, I, I didn't like that, I didn't appreciate that very much, that was almost SS, uh, police state scary sort of thing, you know, just come into the shopping centre and do, uh, not just do one loop, but do a second one as well, I mean, one loop's one thing, but two, Nah, it just puts the heebie-jeebies up everybody. But uh, anyway, yeah, there were some here. Where have I lost them? Have they gone already? No, no, here they... Ooh, those two 30 degree days have really knocked them back. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yep, yep, the seed's almost spent there. It's being spent there as we speak, so, you know. I suppose we've got to put that in the memory bank for future years, you know. Watch out for... Two uh, consecutive of a 30 degree days uh, in an odd season, sort of thing. But, uh, well, I've got plenty of seed at home, so you know, I just thought you know, might want some you know, you know, immediately fresh stuff. But then again, there's Ziggy was complaining his grandchildren's seeds weren't germinating, blah blah blah. And suddenly, you know, the following year at the right time, bang, he gets hundreds of plants all germinating. I said, Well, there you go, it was fresh, it's just. You know, I, I sent it to you too fresh, you know, sort of thing. So, you know, I was hoping to do a nice fine blend of, you know, fresh and mixed seeds sort or of things, so, you know. But, uh, you know, you'll get germinating straight away and then you'll get the fresh stuff will germinate later and things like that. But anyway, we not, I used to normally go down here in previous, you know, from the late 90s and collect uh, pygmy from around here. So, yeah, not pygmy. What am I talking? Planchonia. I'm not talking pygmy. Planchonia. I keep doing that a lot these days. And uh, I think, yeah, I, I think I, it. Uh, see, it's so rocky; it dries out so quickly. I just wasn't thinking. I just said, uh, been a couple of bad years these past years. That, well, there's the seed pod about to shed its seed. So you know. Unfortunately, he's only got two seed pods. I only usually like to take one when there's three pods on the plant, so that's, that's my sort of rule, sort of thing. So I leave two for the plant and the environment, and I only take one pod you know, if I can. So I've got to really find one that's got three pods on it if I can. I mean, if you don't make these rules and stick to them, you know, what's the point of having a rule? But no, I think I'm just going to have to stick... Oh, hang on, hang on, there's three. There you go, jeez, it's totally dried out. Gonski. Well, there you go. There's one fresh seed pod, that should do Sean. I mean, you'll, you'll get at least... Well, I suppose we can go home and find out how much is in this one. Well, there you go, Sean, one fresh seed pod of Planchonio for you. And I've left two on the plant. For the plant and the environment, so there you go. I've done my good deed for today. And we'll go home and let this dry out completely and we'll see how many uh, seeds are actually in a single pot how about that would be a good little test and this can be yours sean so i'll send two vials one with this and another vial with the uh, other um, and we'll see which ones germinate readily and which ones don't so i've got to be very careful with this anyway i'll take it back carefully to the car 
if I can find something to put it in. I didn't expect it, the season to be this far gone actually. Uh, it just shows you what a weird position Australia is in. What with the politically from the government going back to the 1950s. Now they're talking about raising the GFC and they said they weren't going to touch it. Oh, yeah. I reckon if he goes anywhere near that Royal Commission, he's going to be slain. I reckon he will. One of those uh, people who have been abused, they'll sacrifice themselves, I think, and just take him out. And so this is a, there's one chance in life to tell this story, get the message out there, to do something positive for all that badness that occurred to them. And he, if he tries to close it down, he's taking that away from them, isn't he? That will make them feel doubly bad, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon he'll be slain. That's my prediction anyway. If he goes anywhere to shut down the Royal Commission or does anything sneaky, you know, preventing the full disclosure of the evidence and things like that, yeah, it, we'll, we'll have our first JFK situation in Australia, I reckon. Yeah. And I'm sure, you know, knowing Australians will come up with a very unique Australian flavour to it. We usually do in you know, these sort of situations. Here, cop that. Or cop this. Anyway, things over and out for now. I made the effort for you, Sean, even though I'm not feeling 100%. And I said it's a weird time. A weird time in Australia. I almost feel like emigrating to Western Australia, but they've lost their uh, AAA credit rating. And so we go this way, catch all the penalties. Yeah, they've gone down to double A plus now. Oh, they kept that quiet before the election, didn't they? I mean, standards and pause must have known. And yet they didn't leak anything, you know, with all these other leaks. Anyway, I better start another clip.